Hi, it's Johnny. We're gonna do some comparison and also take mainly testing this one, the how cold it is, and also we're gonna test it, uh, see how hot it will get. Once I put the water in here, another set couple hours, see if it's actually hot enough to make coffee. All right, because it claimed to be able to go up to at least a hundred fifty degree. So let's check out the width and height, okay? So based on this, this one is a very cool design from uh, New Wave Toys. They make uh, the coffee, uh, not coffee, a refrigerator, which is the, uh, the mini version of Coca-Cola machine. Uh, but the price is pretty high at this moment. Uh, when I first pre-ordered, it was only like, you know, 129 139 And it have uh, where you could put, you could actually uh, put coin in here, and it will actually have a Coca-Cola little can to come out. So if you have not seen this video, what you do, you could put the coin in, or you could press it twice here. Okay, and then once you press it twice, mean you input a uh, two-quarter in. And then we'll give you a Coca-Cola can, which is very cool. Okay, very cool. Uh, maybe in the future they make a, a different one like Pepsi or Dr. Pepper or root beer. Maybe I'll get one once they remake one. Uh, but they do have it on sale right now for uh, one fifty nine ninety nine. Uh, then you have to pay uh, shipping and I believe also tax. So it's gonna go up pretty high. So, I decided to get a smaller version. Uh, the reason I got this one was because this one got me the idea to, to do this. Because it's pretty cool, very convenient. It's like if you're upstairs or in your workbench and you're doing something and you don't feel like coming into the house to get the, the soft, uh, the cold drink, and you can actually grab it from the refrigerator. Uh, small mini mini refrigerator. So based on looking at the size wise, this is a lot smaller than this one. Okay uh, So we're gonna measure it. So you have some kind of comparison Now this one does keep things very cool, but only thing is it doesn't it keep on running uh, It doesn't stop once the temperature reach to the cold temperature. It doesn't measure it It, it, it just keep on running Okay, now the sound is coming from this machine, so I'm going to turn it off and let you hear the difference. Uh, the sound, the fan is both facing backward. Uh, this one measure about 6.2 and this one measure roughly about 7. So this one is much wider. Okay, and if you was to measure the top. This is six inches directly from the top. This one is uh, less than seven, so it's about, yeah, you could say seven, roughly seven. It's about six, six point, I mean, six point nine, almost seven, okay? And well, let's look at this one, just have you look upside down. It's almost seven, but it's six point nine, okay? Now, the height wise is almost about the same. This one is about 12, less than 12 inches. And this one is 11.8 uh, inches height. And the width definitely this one beat it. This one, well, not beat it, but this one is six and a half. So you can't put your can sideways. You only put the can straight, okay? This one, uh, this one could put it sideways because it's uh, all the way up to the front is is nine and a half nine and a half okay but uh inside the refrigerator space it is seven point about seven point three seven point two okay seven point two okay and that is because it's measuring from the top so as you can see this one the space from here to here is 7.2 and here to here 
uh, it's not that much space uh, refrigerator space so from here to here you're looking at about uh, 4.8 about 4.8 right there okay so that is the the measurement on top that's the is the the space for for it but so therefore you cannot uh put it uh put it up you have to you cannot put it side laying down you have to put it straight up and so this one does keep the temperature and if it's once you reach to the proper temperature it will uh i guess stop okay and this one will continue this one doesn't have a measurement for it. uh but it's very cute it, it it did a very good job of keeping things cool because we have some coca-cola uh that they do sell that uh like an old-fashioned type of coca-cola and the rating wasn't that great you know and this one is very good the only thing is uh, uh drawback is that it does show uh the I guess the the material that is holding this up. So one, two, three, uh, four, and a little bit here five. Uh, the other one, the the one that doesn't say new Coke, I think it show more. This one sh doesn't show as bad as the, the one called Coke, because I saw the review from other people in YouTube that you could actually see uh, those uh, those mark. Um, for some reason more than this one okay now if you haven't seen the review uh, please check that out it's pretty cool I have one that actually show you how many can that you can actually put in here uh, you cannot put those big uh, you cannot put one you cannot really put this big uh, solar can two of those you only could put one uh, some people thought that that you could but you can because you can't shut the door so you can put the two of the big one side by side. Only only one big one. This one you could put two by two, two big one on the side. All right, let's test the moment. Uh, this one you could open. That's how far you could open this. Let's see. This one you open about the same. You cannot really about the same. You cannot open that that wide. They both don't have light inside. Uh, this one do not collect the water, so you have to use uh, either a sponge to clean it. Okay, so do not it do not uh, do that. So you have to, but it does have two options in the back as well. Uh, this one only have uh, you could turn on the refrigerator or turn off, and the third is just the venting machine meaning that you could play with the coin dropping down the cork the the little small can but no another word no uh no refrigerator okay just for look okay just for demo look so so you hear the difference once you turn this off this one you could you could hear it but it's not as loud and then this one is just for light so the thing will work but no refrigerator okay the fan is not moving all right so now you can hear the difference between uh between them so all the time that you were hearing the sound it was from this one now it's off and that's the sound from this refrigerator all right so let's test the cold and the hot this has been there for overnight so i'm gonna test uh this drink because this is just plastic, so the coal have to go into the plastic. This one is a can, so the, the you can already feel cold, and it's, it's pretty cold. So let's test, drink this, and see how cold it is. It tastes good. It tastes as cold as it was if it was inside the refrigerator same as that one okay i don't have a thermal to measure it i i thought i bought one to test the covid 19 temperature where people get sick but i apparently don't have one 
and it's pretty nice it doesn't have any moisture inside i could see uh let's pull this out see if they collect any water uh it's pretty dry it's very nice so i'm sorry it's very nice it doesn't have any water collected and it sit there overnight and i'm i really like it i might i'm gonna wait for the second one and do a comparison because i have a second one that is smaller than this and it have a handle so it's coming today so we're going to compare that later on and then uh if if it turns out that i do like both of them i'm gonna get a new one instead because it's missing a cable and to me if if it's gonna cost me the same to just buy a new cable i might as well just get a whole brand new one with everything in it okay i like the refrigerator it will remind me of the old time refrigerator uh the mini version so it's very cool all right so now we are going to switch it to hot so we're going to take all the cold can out and we're going to put a regular you know uh, i'm not going to use the cold one because i want it to see how long it takes to a room temperature one and put a put a water in here and see if it's hot enough for me to make coffee for this morning so we're gonna let it sit for a couple hours and the water now is uh, room temperature where the coffee normally I make my coffee up to here yeah there's a coffee cup and then I'm gonna put in here and we're going to turn this side so easier for me to grab without burning myself <laughs> I don't think I would burn myself all right so I'm gonna close it all right now I did not read the instruction knowing if I need to let this change like do I need to let it wait till it room temperature before I turn it but I don't think you need to but this is very cool this is very cool okay but yeah if you have money and you like to collect uh, you know to me it's just a little bit too high I wish that the person would give us discount if they gave me a discount I'll buy it right away a second one without even thinking about it but apparently uh, knowing how much I pay for the first one and then ask me to pay for the regular price I just can't do it I'm sorry I just can't you know but yeah let's go back to this is why i got the this one and this one is not bad it is it's a mini refrigerator because if you really want a mini refrigerator this is probably the one way to go about it uh you don't have to worry about it tilting you know because wheel the wheel refrigerator you cannot lay down or anything and you have a little you know compressor thing and you cannot you have to have it stand up straight okay so i'm going to turn this off Okay, and wait till the green light go off, and then I'm gonna switch it to, uh, switch it to warm. So this is cool and this is warm. So it's, it doesn't claim to be hot; it's just warm. So we're gonna see how warm is it. Is it warm enough to like make a coffee, or is it just warm water? If it just look look warm, uh, I don't know. I like it. Well, look warm is good enough for. I keep the food, maintain the food warm, but I hope it keep it hot. Let's see how, let's see if I like this feature or not. All right, so let's turn it up. And it went to, so it have three, three, uh, like that one does. It go from cool, off, and warm, okay? So there is the, let's bring that over here and let you see the back. So I have the warm. Now, I'm missing a DC cable, which is plugged into the car. I don't have it. But what is weird is this piece right here was kind of bumpy on top. And there was a bump here. Like, it, it feel like the plastic was about to come off. You could feel the screw over here, but there was a, see, you can hear it. There's a, and there, definitely you can see that there's a bump right here. But that is the school. I don't know why it was made like, like that. To me, I feel like it's a poor design because you could 
actually have a, there's a bubble between because of the I guess there's a screw here. They could have just put the screw directly out and put the plastic over it so you don't have this bump. But that's how the design is. All right. So we're gonna let it sit, and then we're gonna come back and test the test the final test on the heat. How hot does it get? Thank you. 